Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a bit of side income using your mobile phone or your digital camera. Just taking photos. If you have a passion taking photos, you can generate a bit of side income using this platform. You know, there's few platforms out there. This is the one I'm going to talk to about, talk you, um, go through because this is the only one I'm using at the moment. It's called Shutterstock. Shutterstock.com. If you get there and you can go through the procedures of opening an account and all that kind of stuff. Right, so here I'm logged into my account here. Now, I've learned so much, absolutely so much. I did not realize when you, I had no clue. I just know how to take your photos and do all that kind of stuff. But when you submit something, then you realize it's a totally different ball game. You know, you can take fantastic photo using your mobile phone, for example, your iPhone, your Samsung, whatever phone you're using. But when you submit it to one of these sites, they, they go through rigorous process to see if they're good enough, your photos good enough to accept it. Now, I've sent, I think about 100 and over, over 200 photos. Recently, I've sent 54, as you can see, 54 here. And out of those photos, 29 of my photos have been accepted. It went through their process. Um, I'm not generating any money yet. Looks not being generated anything, but I'm not interested in generating yet. All I'm interested in is just to see how good I am and everything I'm doing. If they prove it, it looks good, then obviously it makes me proud. Then I can think about other stuff. Right, so let's go through and see the ones they have approved. These are the one is rejected. If I go through. Now, as you can see, these are, you know, to a normal person, they look so good. Look, here is the one. Uh, petite marigold, French marigold, scarlet red. Red and orange or red and yellow, if you like. Now, they will tell you the reason they didn't reject it. Every time you submit one, if they reject you, they don't be disheartened because they rejected you. Look, look to the bright side and have a look at this. The, the, the reason they will give you why they rejected the photos. Look at the reaction. So when I started putting through these photos you know it's literally I was so you know I was really mad why they rejected this why they done that and then I came to a conclusion look you know the more I put in the more better I get when they criticize you they tell you now look uh, look at this take a look at these two two photo here the the geranium ones, red geraniums, okay? These are, this is most of the photos I've taken in my garden, back garden and front garden. Now, take a look at how colorful, they look similar, right? One of the is because I already submitted the same one, so they rejected, this is the one they approved, okay? They approved this one, which is good. And I used a Samsung, Note 4 to take the picture of those, everything I do. Samsung Note 4. You know, I don't know how many megapixel that has. I guess, I don't know, over 10 something megapixel camera. Right, another one that down here is approved. Now, I took some photos of um, toilet rolls here and towels, kitchen um what do you call those stuff yeah towel rack electric towel yeah you you hang your towels wet towels in them yeah to dry now you're not gonna believe it it came to me you know i was shaving i thought why not take a photo of um blades 
and I think two of them approved. There's approved of some chilies I was cooking, so I put that on a sink, and you can see it was approved. And there was another one, look, that's been approved. And another one approved here, rejected, rejected, approved, those shaving ones, as you can see. Now, I'm a bit disappointed, a lot of my naga, the chili, naga chili and green chili, they were rejected. Oh, one marigold um, approved here. So if we look, go back again and see my 29 of my images. Here we are, look. I mean, they are really, really stunning. I mean, if you look at that marigold, for example, that is stunning. Again, there we go. The geranium and this one, Cosmos. Yeah, look, I've taken, look at the way I've taken that using a mobile phone. Would anybody think I've took that in mobile phone? And here I have the, yeah, this, um, Sunflower. Oh, just once I needed to think of a second. The, the sunflower, the interesting thing, look, honeybee, look, collecting nectar, look. Honeybee collecting nectar. What a shot, what a photo. That's approved. You can't get better than that. Uh, again, that's the geranium, chili, those two toilet ones, toilet or holder. Um, shaving blade here, razor, again another marigold. Now out of the blue I decided I'm going to take some shot of night lights. So I took some night light shot and look at how many of them proved. So it, was, I was, it took me by surprise, one, two, three, four of them. And this another one here is really surprising is this photo. Now, you'd be thinking, what the, what is this? And all it is, is when you take your car to a car wash and the soapy, you know, the guys with the, uh, the sponge, they, they clean your windscreen, don't they? And basically what I decided, I, I took a photo of the windscreen as they were cleaning the car inside the car wash. And that's what it is. Uh, the the soapy water. And this is kind of nice. Um, green wild grass look. Beautiful. Wild mushroom here. And there's another nice. And this, as you can see, silvery snowflake. Beautifully taken. All I used is the Samsung Note 4. And the tomatoes, as you can see, rain drops on tomatoes there, beefy tomatoes there. Again, look, fantastic, a leaf with raindrop, backdrop, you got um, flakes, snowflake at the back, yellow, um, yellow geranium, sorry, geranium, marigold, and lovely, uh, what do you call it, um, got, um, to you, um, rose, red rose. There we are. If I make it large a bit, let's, let's large in this photo up a bit. Wow. That is really, really stunning photo of a, a, a red rose here. Backdrop, few other budding roses at the back. Fantastic. So, as you can see now, by giving these photos and, you know, let's make it a little slightly larger on that one. Take a look at this one. Wow. Now, it, it gave me another idea. Now, because Shutterstock has proven these photos, they've given the green light. Now. I can move on to higher things. I've recently applied to Getty Images. And if they accept this, I am thinking it's a game changer for me because 
I can move on. I can buy myself a better equipment. You know, I'll start, I'll start buying cameras. Very, very, you know, I'll get up to start buying really, really expensive, not expensive, but, you know, your Canon EOS 70D or 80D or 90 EOS 90D, that kind of camera, you know, your digital SLR cameras and start learning, taking photos and learning. You know, I've seen, I have a really close friend who was a, was a photographing guy and he sells a lot of his stuff on uh, Getty Images. It's very difficult to go into Getty Image or iStock. But if they do accept you, it's invitation only. I have submitted, you know, a few from this section. And if they do accept me, which would be a great honor for somebody taking a photo, a kind of a, you know, joke, and to actually be, to be accepted by Getty or iStock, which would be fantastic achievement for me. So if you're thinking of hobby on the side, take photos, you know, just, you know, start doing it. Like this one here. There we are. I thought one minute away is it going blurry now. It's taking a few seconds to load up. Now look at that. I most of these photos or none of them I've actually edited or did anything with it. It's naturally how I've seen it, how I took it and that's it. It's natural lighting, natural shot, not been edited by any digital program. Simple. So Thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other video. Please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. So once again, thank you so much.